Schwachmann Diamond Syndrome, or SDS, is a rare genetic condition that primarily affects the bones, pancreas, and bone marrow. Most cases result from alterations in the SBDS gene, which affects the assembly of cell organelles called ribosomes. Ribosomes are essential to maintain cell function, and in SDS, ribosomal function is altered, causing changes in multiple body systems. SDS is inherited in an autosomal recessive pattern, meaning an individual with SDS inherits two altered genes, one from each parent. Now, signs and symptoms of SDS are variable. If the bones are involved, individuals may have a short stature and skeletal changes like a short, flared ribcage or slowed ossification or the formation of new bones. SDS can also cause a decrease in pancreatic function, leading to a decrease in digestive enzymes that break down fat and protein, causing malabsorption. If left untreated, this can lead to decreased weight gain, failure to thrive, and steatorrhea, or fat-containing stools. However, decreased pancreatic function may improve as individuals age. Decreased bone marrow function ranges from mild to severe. It can result in low blood cell counts, particularly involving neutrophils, red blood cells, and platelets. The most common is low levels of neutrophils, also known as neutropenia. Neutropenia increases susceptibility to bacterial infections, leading to an increased risk of infections. Low red blood cell counts, or anemia, can cause fatigue, pallor, and shortness of breath. And low platelet counts, or thrombocytopenia, can increase the risk of bleeding from minor injuries. Rarely, individuals with SDS may develop acute leukemia or cancer of the blood or other blood-related disorders like myelodysplastic syndrome. Diagnosis of SDS is suspected in individuals with symptoms of decreased pancreatic and bone marrow function. Laboratory tests involve a complete blood count, pancreatic enzyme levels, and a blood smear. Additionally, a bone marrow biopsy, which involves removing a small amount of bone filled with marrow for analysis, may be performed to rule out other conditions. In suspected cases, confirmation can be done through genetic testing. Now, treatment of SDS is individualized and provided by an interdisciplinary team. Skeletal changes are typically monitored as individuals grow and, if needed, may require orthopedic interventions to prevent complications. For decreased pancreatic function, vitamin supplementation, extra caloric intake, and oral replacement of pancreatic enzymes can help boost nutrition and increase absorption of nutrients to support growth and development. Growth and development will be monitored routinely, with most individuals reaching anticipated developmental milestones. For decreased bone marrow function, mild changes can be monitored with routine lab work to identify early changes that may need treatment. If neutropenia develops, preventative measures against infections should be initiated, like meticulous hand hygiene and masking in public. If a bacterial infection develops, it can be treated with antibiotics. For severe or persistent neutropenia, individuals may be prescribed medications, like granulocyte colony stimulating factors that stimulate bone marrow to produce more neutrophils. If severe anemia or thrombocytopenia develops, individuals may require a blood transfusion, and in rare cases, bone marrow transplantation may be done. Other interventions, like speech therapy and social services, can help individuals with SDS reach their goals while providing support. Although individuals with SDS tend to require lifelong monitoring and treatment, with appropriate interventions, quality of life can remain high. All right, as a quick recap, Schwachmann Diamond Syndrome is a rare genetic condition that primarily affects the bones, pancreas, and bone marrow, and is caused by alterations in genes that affect ribosome function. Signs and symptoms are variable and can range from mild to severe. Diagnosis can be confirmed with genetic testing, and treatment focuses on individualized, symptom-specific monitoring and interventions.
helping current and future clinicians focus, learn, retain, and thrive. Learn more.